G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, today we're looking at taps and dies again. And these are two sets I've got. It's my original set, and this is another set. That's metric, that's imperial. And I've had them for 20, 20 or 30 years. And then I've got a heap of other sets of taps and dies. But these are the common ones that people generally have, you know, backyarders. I'll buy these, they're reasonably cheap, and, you know, they do the job up to a point. They do the job, and as they snap, <laughs> you replace them because they're, they're only carbon steel. Anyway, they're, uh, they're interesting sets, and as I said, they'll do the job, but there's a bit of a problem with them, and that is, like all taps, they've got different size ends on them. Okay, you've got little ones and you've got big ones. So the... Uh, the tap holders they give you, these, this is meant for the small ones, this is meant for the bigger ones, and they do the job, and this is a good sort. I've got a, a nice steel one here, this one's only some sort of car stuff. Yeah, they're good, and these come in all sizes. Once again, I've got big ones and little ones. And, but anyway, this set, you don't even get one, you see? They don't give you one. And this sort, which are for the small ones, they're really horrible things that hard on your fingers, they bite in, they're crappy really, they never use it. So if you've got a set like this without a tap holder, or a set like this with a crappy small tap holder like that, and they won't take the really small taps either that you can buy aftermarket for model making, what do you do? Well see here's what I've got which is a really good uh, PNN one, but once again it won't take all small taps. You can sort of poke a few down through the centre there and it will grip, but, you know, limited once again. These sorts are good. Got these from Banggood and they're reversible, got a ratchet on them. Yeah, that, they work well and they'll grip most stuff. But once again, you've got to buy this stuff, you know, and there's no guarantee that it's going to grip a really small tap either. So... There's a way around this, and it doesn't cost you hardly anything. And it's something I made up years ago. And I call it my dual thread tap gadget. And yeah, that's basically what it does. It does a lot of things. So I'll, I'll show you what it is. So here it is. It's a lump of steel with a hole drilled in the end. And a couple of grub screws coming in from each side and a, a locating hole. What is it? What does it do? Uh -huh. Very cunning. Well, what it does is it turns your die holder, which is one of these, into a tap holder. That goes in there. Your tap goes in there, and now you've got a, a tap holder. This is the locating. Uh, you use a locating screw on the on the die ho holder to just go into that recess. It just drops in. That's plenty strong enough to do the taps and. Then you put in the tap, pinch up the grub screw either side. Let's see if I can find one. Like so. And this is ready to go. Not only that, you've now got a tap position for a tap follower. Because you know, a lot of these taps you've got no way of following them because there's no indent on the end because they're too small and if you put them in the holder like that there's no indent and you can't put an indent and this is too damn hard I tried and the same with the the Banggood one there's no indent although you might be able to machine one into that I'm not sure so yeah you can use it with a thread follower and it does the job. So there you go, there's a 
just a short video to show you and yeah it uh, will take several size taps you can make you can make it to the size you want go to the next size up it drops in grub screws pinch up on it ready to go so okay how simple is that, eh? That's, that's something anybody with a lathe could make up without too much trouble. I just knocked this up in a hurry. Another thing about this holder is that this is all polished. Delib I deliberately polished it, didn't knurl it or do anything stupid like that. The reason being that when you do freehand tapping, you've got something to actually just use so that you can get a good purchase on it with your left hand or your, your other hand keep everything aligned otherwise you're trying to grip on the the actual tap itself so yeah it's uh, it's good the other advantage too is that you can make the center um, to fit any any die holder and the thing with die holders is that they're like taps Quite often the handles are too short or they're too long to get into where you're using them. You know, if you're using them on a lathe, it mightn't clear the uh, the ways. And uh, these things come in all sizes. And yeah, you can just, as I said, you can make this any size you want to fit any sort of um, die holder, big ones, little ones. And uh, as I said, yeah, you can put a Put a thread, a, uh, a tap follower onto the end of it, and yep, good stuff. So there you go, Rob's thread tapping thingy, uh, for want of a better word. And yeah, handy little gadget to have at times, particularly if you're doing model making. Okay, well, that's it for me. I hope you got something out of that, something to do. You can knock it up in probably an hour and uh, you're good to go. Okay, that's it for me. See you next time. Cheers.